In this section, we will style the recipes of the Contessor Cookbook application, that is, the item template of the item grid view control. I will right click on the item grid view control, edit additional templates, edit generated items, and hit edit current. You can see that we have navigated to standard styles example where the resource for the item template is stored. In order to provide a better context, we copy over the data bound to this item as well. You can see the image and the name of the recipe here. As I know that I will be only using the template in the grouped items page, I would like to copy the resource to the same page. This will help me design this template within the context of the whole page and would help me greatly in understanding how my styling and affects the page as a whole. In order to do that, I will right click again, edit additional templates, edit generated items, and do edit a copy. I'm going to give a name to this resource. You can see that the scope of this resource is already pre-selected as this document. I will hit OK now. You can now see at Adona around this item. What I would like to do here is three things. I would like to have non-overlapping image and text. I can do that by creating three rows. So I will select the grid, create row number one, two, and three. Then I will expand the stack panel in the document outline. You can see that there is a text block that is the name of the recipe and the image for the grading control. I will move this image into the root grid. So I will drag it and reparent that to the root grid. I will set the row definition for this particular image as row 0. As you can see, it's already set to 0. I will set its row span as 1. Then I will select the border which contains the image of this particular recipe and set it to row equal to 1. And then set its row span again as 1. I will then select the stack panel which contains a text block and make sure that its row definition is set correctly. It is. What I'd like to do here is make sure that name of the recipe only takes as much as space as it needs. So I can select the height of the row here and say set to auto. I can do the same for the rating control as well. The rating control has, when I drag the rating control, some margins were set on that particular control. I can right click on the control and say reset layout all. You can see that now the rating control only takes as much space as it requires. I would like to give a little more darker background to the rating control and I would like to wrap it in a border. All you have to do is right click on the image control, say group into and enter border. Now the rating control is wrapped in a border control. I can right click on the border and hit reset layout. And do the same for the image control as well. I would like the image control to have at least 10 pixels margin on the top and 10 pixels margin on the bottom. So I will go to my property inspector and set the margin to top as 10 and the margin to bottom as 10. I would also like to give it a 5 pixel margin on the left. As I want this rating control or rating image to be aligned to the left, I can set its horizontal alignment to left. Also, I would like the border to have a darker color. So I can select the border, go to its background, and set its background as black. It is that simple to restyle a list using SAML tooling. One last thing I would like to do is I would like to see the prep time for these recipes in my main list. I, I, I don't want to actually navigate to the item itself to see its preparation time. In order for me to actually do that, what I would do is select the stack panel and make a copy of the text block. I can do a control C and a control V. You can now see that there are two text blocks. I will select the stack panel and set its orientation to horizontal.
and I will select the second text block and bind its text property to the preparation time value. I can do that by selecting the advanced property marker, create data binding and select prep time and hit OK. You can now see that I have bound the second text block to the preparation time for that particular recipe.